service dogs. I don't want my dog to be a service dog. What's wrong with this? Nothing. <laughs> right there. And subtle. Dogs never used to be classified as service dogs. They were just well-behaved dogs. Uh, that to me would be the... Okay, there you go. With me. You can back up just a shade, too. Tammy can come back up. There we go. Wait. Hi, how you doing? Good. Good to see you again. Good to see you again. Now, Woody's only like ten and a half months old. So Woody's not finished yet, but Woody's getting the concept. I would suggest you don't stick Woody in Zachy's face. He looks like fast food. We don't know what Zach would or yeah, what Zach would choose to do with him, but I do know that most Lakelands would have a really good idea what to do. Excuse me. Wait. It's gonna watch him. Hi there. Well yeah, because it's a little furry animal. Looks a lot like a bunny. Mm -hmm. Actually, Sue, why don't you scoot over just a little bit more? That's it. There you go. Now we got space. Now hurry up and wait for our appointment. <laughs> or make it quick. Not you, slow down. Wait. Yeah, wait. Good to see you. Good to see you. Now a service dog is not to be distracting, not to be crowding, not to be going forward, not to be causing any problem. It's almost invisible. It's as if you were using that cane or that chair. It's just there. Wait. 
A service dog is not to Hi. be involved. That's good, Tim. Whatever you yeah. We don't want you walking on your broken foot. <laughs> okay. Nice. Right here. Saddle. Right here. Now, Kathy, if you want to get a lead, Bach is out in that pen out there. Now, while everybody's getting ready, um, last night we had a class, and we had two people in there that have service dogs, or have interest in service dogs. And we had um, a number of people who kind of got the look on their face, like, oh, service dog training again. So I did very much what I'm doing today. Uh, we talked about, you know, I took one of the dogs and I taught it one of the exercises that's very important. And then we had everybody else do it and you talk about different contexts where you use these skills. Okay, now that's service dog. Beautiful, both of them. But wouldn't we all like to have dogs like that? So if they all start like that, you don't have to ride around and hover around. You don't have to ride around, or you don't have to walk around with a cane to enjoy having a dog that acts that way. Now, the difference in the service dogs and in just a good companion is people with service dogs handle them out of necessity. Other people handle them out of something to do. It's a little inconvenient. They have one thing that bothers them. The service dog mentality is, it's a lifestyle. But that should be the lifestyle for every dog. Because you never know, you have all these able-bodied people in the class. I said, okay, what if you break your leg? Could you still walk your dog? What if you had surgery? Could you still walk the dog? What if there was a car accident? Could you still walk the dog? So, in, it was really funny because I took then the dogs after I did the demonstration with the service dogs, which is what we're doing here. Then I had everybody do those same exercises. It was so cool because they apply to everybody. Um, when, when people who have had dogs their whole lives, they want another dog. Okay, yeah. At the time you were really active with dogs, you might have been 30, 40 years old, and you could do this, and, huh, Julia? Right. You could go show dogs, and you could go, and all of a sudden we like to think of ourselves as still being able to do that. But the truth of the matter is, we get older every day. Do we really want to go out? I remember when I ran around that show ring with German Shorters and the, all the dogs and we won this and we did that. Yeah, but my knee won't do it now. I don't care what I do, I'm never going to be 30 years old again. So when we get a dog and we think about we're going to have that dog 12, 15 years. We want to train that dog for what it's going to be in 12 and 15 years, not what, it is, not what we need today. 12, 15 years ago, you had never thought about your life spent no, never. the way it is now. So if we start them all as service dogs, that doesn't limit us to service dogs. That gives us many more possibilities. Um, I've seen it happen so many times. We had a couple, very nice couple, they used to board their dogs. And their dogs were awful. They jumped all, they loved their dogs. And they jumped all over them and they were just rude. They were big, obnoxious dogs. 
and they loved their dogs. Fine. I said, you know, you could easily train them. Oh, they're fine. We, you know, it's a little problem getting them into the car, and but they're fine. We got the garage, and okay, fine. All right, shut up. All right, so I said, well, the problem happen. You know, if something happens, oh no, we don't want to talk about that. It wasn't a month later. The husband had open heart surgery. When they used to do the take the vein out of your leg and all that stuff. They had to board those dogs for six months because they were so crazy, no family member would take them. And he couldn't risk being jumped on. Had they simply started a dog, and McNally's a prime example of a dog that was not started right. He was horrible. <laughs> But she learned to think in a different way. That is what rehabilitation is. Replacing negative behaviors, negative thoughts, negative habits with improved ones, more appropriate ones. Dogs are born trained. It's us who bring them through the door and give them the wrong job description. We selfishly have fun with them, and then we don't like what we create. Right? Yes. This is the reflection. McNally is the reflection of a dog who totally went cold turkey. She lived her life in the kennel. She got out, and the only time out of that kennel, we made sure... There was absolutely no rudeness, no obnoxious, no nothing. She got corrected. End of story. Julia wanted to pet that dog so bad, I said, you leave that dog alone until you can behave. <laughs> She's wonderful. She is so wonderful. Hard. <laughs> she is. I'm fine. Good girl. Now, so. that dog, now, she wants to put her head on your, on your leg, didn't yeah. she? Yeah, huh? she did. As an emotional, call her back up there and give her a hug. Wait, really? Hug. Julia needs a kiss. Can you kiss? Thank you. That's she's emotional support. Okay, she's yeah. off duty. You know. Settle down. Thank you. Oh, what a wonderful thing! A non switch and off switch and a dimmer <laughs> switch is. Hey. Settle. You know. Because she would quickly go into I love you way too much mode. Yeah. So this teaches Julia to make good decisions. Yeah, I probably now this, let her hug me right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. This been. dog, before most dogs, would flip back into that nutso mode just because that was established as normal first. So... She's more than willing to get crazy. Yeah. But you're not going to ask her to be crazy. No. Not at home. Not, when she not ever. With me. Mm -mm. Her crazy days are over. She's but this so is a priority. <laughs> That's the difference in service dogs and just a pet dog. Is It's a priority to have this in a service dog. Or it should be. I had to learn that. I, I know you did. Go through the training. And you thought you knew, didn't you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Good girl. Anyway, so we're going to move out here, Stephen, and Baki's going to have a shot at it. Now, Bach actually lives with Mike and Pauline. They're gone for the day, so Bach is here. So Kathy has spent lots of time with Bach. Now, Bach also is qualified to be a service dog. He will be learning to be a hearing dog because both of them are a little hard of hearing. So right now, uh, he's a companion. Um, Mike, well, when they first started looking at him, they just wanted to pet. Well, then they start living with a dog that really doesn't make very many mistakes. And they go, whoa, there's possibilities here. So Bach has... 
he started taking Bach. Actually, one day he did come and get a vest for him. Um, Mike needs to go through the process to enable him to understand what kind of dog he has. But Bach is trained. It doesn't cost any more to feed a trained dog than it does an obnoxious dog. Actually, it's cheaper because you don't have things to fix. So if you want to back out of there so you can see Kathy work, that would be good. Bach is doing really, really well. And Mike said the other day he'd been kind of going, yay! Well, the little short man has been jumping off their deck. And so he probably needs a chiropractor. So <laughs> we kind of looked at him, but his neck is a little stiff right now. Wait, wait, wait. Hello, Kathy. Hello, how's it going okay? Yeah. Now, you notice Kathy, Kathy actually allows the dog to walk a little ahead of her. That's Kathy's choice. Good job, Bach. Good job, Bach. Service dogs are not to be aggressive. They are not to be rough. They are not to be pushy. They are not to be dragging to get to other people. And that's what every good pet should be. Wait. This nonsense of having everybody, the dog going up and seeing everybody, say hi to everybody, that's crazy. If you wouldn't let a kid do that, don't let a dog do that. Wait. How you been? Now, how much more fun would it be to take a dog like this? Come on, bud. Let me... It was. It is. Wait. Oh, that's right. Julia and Bob spent a week. So how do you rate that wanting to go up and say hello to everybody? You don't let them. How, what would you say to a child, Ray, who is constantly running up to strangers? I understand the point. So, But it's got to be a priority. But I have to have two needs on her. Come on. You just have to make it more of a priority. You have to set the dog up so it doesn't catch you by surprise. It's more, it's more um, you set up the situation. We'll, we'll show, I'll show you. Now, it's really not bad in a wide. I would pick that lead up a little bit. You're going to trip over that thing. Um, in a wine, they can be a little standoffish to begin with. So there's nothing wrong with starting out that way. But then you want to program the off switch so that you don't have to have it. She's already friendly to people. That's good. It's like Woody. Um, Tammy kept him back off everybody. He got so he didn't like people. So the fact that you've taken... Bridget, and you've allowed her to believe people are okay, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just like this dog. She had a wonderful outgoing attitude, playful. She loves to work. Okay, cool. But she's got to understand there's a time for work and a time not. Now, Zachy has never done this before. Never. So, because he is friendly to people, Carolyn's got a little tagline on him. So she's first of all going to walk him past people so that he gets the idea that he can't just stop at everybody. Now, he's excited to be in class. We are not going to correct him for being excited to be in class. He's getting corrected for not paying attention to Carolyn. Okay, now you're going to stop with a little tagline on. Now Carolyn can stop him from going forward. And she can actually step forward with her other foot. There we go. Hi there. Hi. Just, nice oh, to see you. Good, easy. See that? Good boys out. So good. now, with no effort on your part at all, remember, this Manners and Minutes training is set up that the oldest, youngest, weakest, most limited member of the family can work this dog. In a wheelchair... I could 
have that little tagline, you could step on that little tagline and guess who's not going forward. Now, in the case of Julia, someone else had to do the training because Julia doesn't have the ability to be that quick to step or to hold that big crazy thing. So are we saying that I should keep a tagline on her anytime she's likely to Hello. meet somebody? If that's where your priority is. So if you don't say the command, she's not wrong. So there are times when you're going to do that. She's not, a, I mean, she could be a service. Your service dog is a dog that helps you or enhances your life. Not that you work for them. Yeah, well, it's nice that she's friendly to people. Yes, it is. That, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you need to make it clear you have the choice. So sometimes yes, sometimes no. Once you have that, then you can say no more times than you say yes. So does, in that situation, does a dog need to wear a cabling all the time? When you are specifically working on an exercise, okay, if you were... I understand that. Yeah, you, if you're going to go up, now, it, it's just like putting the dog in a place of no pressure. All right, if I'm going to gripe about potty training, then I have to set it up so the dog can succeed. I can't complain if I haven't done the job. So we were talking to Chris about it. He shoots archery. All right. If you've got this fancy bow, but you haven't put the string on right and you haven't practiced, it's not going to be good at what it does. So that little tagline teaches this dog that when you come to people, he's to be called. End of story. I used it in the good. Yes. Yes. Good way. Yes. Oh, boy, that. What a wonderful. I don't it, have to use one anymore because he understands. Right. It takes three or four times, and they start the concept. Then you need to work up to a month, and that sets the habit. And then you don't have to worry about it anymore. If you do have a problem, you go back and fix it. Okay. Now, this is a dog that's never had any formal training. How successful was that? Now, he's going to be better than a dog that's been doing it wrong, and then you go back. Okay, now, if you, if I have my computer, and I mess it up, who should fix it? Me, or somebody that knows what they're doing? That's right. So when you have a dog that has been doing it incorrectly... The best thing you can do is have someone else establish it, you praise while they're working the dog, and then you simulate that same thing. But for you to, not just you, but for a person to take their dog who already understands it wrong, why would the dog change what it's doing it's not gonna. Isn't that insanity? Continue to do what you're doing and expect different results? So, we expect Bach. Bach worked for Julia. He's worked for all the veterans. He's worked for Mike. He's worked for... Oh. <laughs> he's, he's, poor Bach. He, he just thinks every person is just... But look at I never have to even hesitate. He went almost soon. I never have to hesitate with Bach. Never. Just hand him a lead. As long as the people know, come on, easy weight, Bach's fine. Yeah. And if you don't know it, he teaches you. Right. Because really that's does. the only way he knows. That'll be Zach. The only way to greet people, in his humble opinion, is you walk up there, Carolyn steps on the line, and you stand there. Okay. So this dog doesn't know anything wrong. This is his first day. Bridget.
has been, she's a happy girl. There's nothing wrong with Bridget. But it would sure be nice to have a little bit more like that, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Absolutely. So that means there needs to be intervention because you can't teach what you don't know, right, Julia? Right. 100% correct. Now, Julia came here because she'd gone out and already gotten a dog. First of all, it was a terrible choice for the dog. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know if any of you have had huskies, but they're not necessarily <laughs> much of a service dog. <laughs> she was emotionally cute. That was it. She had no other qualities. Taxidermy. <laughs> now, Diva is the same breed. The dog is the reflection of the lifestyle it lives. Okay, what's the difference? Too much pressure. No, no pressure. No pressure. None. Zero. Right. Because even Bach, when they go away for the day, they don't set him up to be frustrated, they bring him here. He comes back to Oz or whatever. And, okay, whatever. That keeps him adaptable. It's tough when you have a dog that lives in the same environment and doesn't have a lot of outside. They have way too much... Well, we do the same thing. If you sat at home all the time... You're not a very fun guy. The more you sit home, the less you want to go out. And you make your own little games in your little pond. When we're not challenged, we start to focus on way the wrong things. We need challenge, so do they. Julia, you're smiling. <laughs> I'm happy. <laughs> no. Uh-uh. No. Okay. I told you settle. Do not have her jump up every okay. time you have an emotion. You're okay. going to have a dog that won't lay there. <laughs> See, you need somebody to keep you in line. Yes, I do. Yes, I so do. when we are so. trying to change behaviors... First of all, we have to make it a priority. It can't be kind of, eh, maybe. Last night, Chris went to leave. Or when he came in, I mean. He came in, he had his chair, he had this, he had that. And immediately, Lacey came through the door and she, I said, put that chair down and deal with that dog. You can't put yourself in a situation where you don't have control. And it's the challenge that makes me happy. It is, yeah. but it's the recovery from the challenge. Yeah. The challenge is frustrating. Part of the, the value of this class is when you're challenged, I correct you if you make the wrong decision. It's that muscle memory that you keep going back. Yes. Okay, now, this dog right here, he did really well walking, didn't he? Mm -hmm. He has no rug to lay on, so now we don't have a place to park. He's getting a little bit antsy. The best thing we could do for him is to tie him back up. Because if he's here, and he's allowed to be antsy, what does that set the precedence to be? Take him out of there. Don't sit and fight with him. What did I do with you? I heard of the wall. Yeah. You yeah. sat near her sometimes, yeah. sometimes not. But if that dog is by you, your focus is on you will be calm. End of story. Instead of sitting fidgety, instead of patting, instead of, I had a heck of a time making you. She was fine. She knows it But you I give her the wrong message. Yeah. Well, you know it too, but you just I'm like kidding. her. Yeah. yeah. But she can't get in the habit of jumping up every time. If you're in an office, right. that's that's a stapler. Yeah. I mean, that's just a piece of equipment. 
Yeah, to doing doctors doing right. something on my face and right. my hands. She can't be moving. One of the hardest things when Ruby was in the rehab with her knee, she had uh, Kinsey in the hot, in the rehab with her. They'd go into physical therapy, and it was painful. That dog had a real hard time because it wanted to help. Didn't know what to do. But here's this woman hurting her person. That's the place to tie that dog. Because that's really difficult for that dog to watch somebody hurting you. So, Pat, when I have these sessions of extreme pain for a few hours, I should have her tied Tied. away from me? Yeah, okay. You can sit near her. Okay. But if you really are in pain, Oh, 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 and somebody rushes over to you. The dog may perceive that as them causing that. In the case of a rehab center, which they are causing pain, um, a paramedic come rushing in. That dog has got to work through some of those scenarios or that dog is going to want to, you know, step yeah. between yeah. you and whoever's hurting you. So we need to teach the dogs how we want them to behave. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay. Bridget is doing what she's been taught or conditioned to do or what her perception is. That doesn't mean Ray and Seal are wrong. That means... His priorities are starting to change. That's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with that. He's had his fun with her. Now he's lived through a tornado. Now it would be nice to have a dog that was just a little more responsible. The beauty of it is, Bridget is now of an... How old is she now? She's coming up on 10 months. She's young. Okay. That's beautiful because she still got some of that sense of humor that Woody doesn't have. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, Bach was trained at a young age as well. Because as a service dog, I really wanted him a bit more flat. I didn't want him um, challenging people. And a young terrier like that, if you take it out, tug with it, you're teaching it to challenge you right there. So Bach learned very well how to be a good boy early. Okay, go ahead and walk through. Now again, this is not criticism. This is an assessment. Okay, now don't, don't, now, she's not wrong. Don't let her, leave it, Bridget. Just walk away and tell her, come on. All right. Oh, oh, she's oh, <laughs> Hi there. Good Hi, to see you today. That's all right. We're just <laughs> looking. Now, what is wrong with this picture? If that were a child and this was your arm, there is no way a child would be allowed to pull you towards a stranger with them. You're fine, McNally. Okay. Now, what's the cure for this? So when I put this around no, here, no, no, that's not even it. <coughs> Carolyn, would you like to give the cure? Take one. No. Oh, the correction. The correction. Okay. Accountability. Now, we are going to back, Kathy, back your chair up a bit. Uh, <laughs> Sue can, no, we're good. All right. So now, Ray's going to have a seat. And Carolyn's going to take Bridget. Good boy. Now, if you need a different line, get one. I can't use those nylon, nylon ones. It's up to you. But when you go to do this, you want everything set so it's right for you. This exercise is very important. Good. Come on. When that dog goes to go forward, you go the other way. I need to learn how yeah, to do it. Yeah, you do. Good. Right, job. you do. Because the way I do nice. it, she doesn't get it. Right. Good girl. Good job. Well, first Thank of all, you. you may not have the Good agility girl. or the physical strength yeah. 
to do that. Come on. I do. You do. Okay. Then you need to loosen up. Now, you are... Good girl. There you go. Come on. Good dog. Good girl. So instead of walking nice. around, it's straight lines dog. towards. Nice. And you get that dog paying attention. Good girl. Now you shorten the line up too tight so she doesn't have to pay attention. Good girl. Nice. She's not going to get ahead of Carolyn because every time she does, Carolyn goes the other way. Good girl. Nice job, Bridget. Good girl. Good girl. So you give her plenty of line, just like you're fishing. Good job. You want a lot of slack in that line so that when you set Good that hook. Good job. Nice. See? Good the other girl. Thing is that, uh, that our schedule has been disrupted, so she's I know. not getting the time. Good That's job. okay because you were practicing it with a shorter, yeah. tighter line. The, it's a good thing to have backed away from the routine. Good That's girl. the perfect time to change things. Good girl. That's like when you move into a new home. That's the perfect Wait. time to make your changes. I said, and wait. Into another home and Thank so you. The environment's different. Hello, I'm there. Good to see you. you know, I said, wait. Got neighbors. Thank you. There. You now wait. this dog is starting to think about Hello. going forward. Then you take Good the next wait. step. Good. That's the point where you would Good. then get a tagline. Good girl. I missed that. What did you just say? Okay. Now, once you've got this accountability, see, she's yeah. avoiding people at this point. Good dog. Wait. Which we don't want either. So now it's the point where you can use the tagline. Now, with a taller dog, it's easy to step... Okay, Carolyn, turn around. No, you don't need to get a tagline. Okay. Now, step on... Wait. Tell her wait. Step on the line. Now, grab the other collar. Because you... The black one. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. Hey, no mouth. Thank you. Good no mouth. And we're fine. That's right. Good girl. Good dog, Bridget. See, she's starting to lose her sense of humor. It's very common in this breed. Wait. Good wait. Hi there. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you. Nice handling. Yeah. Now you can put a little bit of a tag on that collar so you can just Good take job. hold of it. It doesn't have to Good drag, girl. or it can. I mean, either way. Here we have a Good short one there. Sure. So wait. Drag. Sure. Good wait. The other yeah. thing is, Hi. I have one. Yeah. It's Good orange. You. I've talked Hi about there. this before. It's, I think I've used them for hunting. Oh, it's about a 30 foot lead. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When that snapped on her, yeah. it's, it's just the fact really? that it snapped on her yeah. changes. That's because, that. see, when you, even Wait. when you came in, you, you had a tight lead on her. You tend to work with a tight lead. So this dog is very comfortable with that long line because she learned it correctly. But you keep going back to the tight line with a short line. So you, when you hold that lead tight, she will pull on it. Good girl. Good job. This is the same movement with a short line that you work with the long line. You've done a beautiful job with the long line. It's the short line you tend to go back to pinch collar mode. Good, Good easy. Good way. You really want that dog working on almost no line. Very nice. That's nice. Good, Good girl. girl. But now you've Good got the dog, girl. so she has an understanding of what's expected. So you can't just start correcting. Good. You've wait. got to get that accountability that you have nice. with that 30-foot line. Nice. Good. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Ray's turn. Because he's You're done it. He's, what, you've had three limes? Or? She's the fourth. Fourth one. Okay, now give her a little bit more line. Now, you're going to walk straight towards Sue, and when she gets ahead of you, don't try to hold her back. Just go the other way. 
Hello? No, 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 Help me. no. Just go, just go the other go. way. You got. You can't skip. Good Not job, yet, just Fraser. Turn. Now go, go the other, other way. way. That's it. Good job. Good, good, good. Give her more line, Ray. Good dog. Hey, a jerk. <laughs> oh, what a good dog, Fraser. There you go. And go the other way. At this point, now tell her wait. You're doing fine. Good wait. Touch her on the head. Tell her she's wonderful. Okay, now come up here. Just before you get to me, tell her wait. Wait. Hi there. Wait. Get after her for not wait. You I told wait. You wait. Now, if you Straight. need to step on that line, Straight. now step on the line. That's okay. Now right lean there. forward. That's Good it. wait, Bridget. Good wait, Bridget. That's Touch her on the head and go wait, visit Bridget. somebody else. Okay. That's Just like that. Love. You've got to go through, and you can't skip steps. Now drop your line. Drop the line. Step on it. Step on it. Wait. That way she doesn't make a mistake. She's now that was what, five minutes? Yeah. Very nice. So it's when we're the doing this, I should always step on. Absolutely, yep. right now. Right now. Now later on, You're setting her up you won't have to do it. But right now, you wait. Wait. Good. Most of us are so anxious to shake somebody's hand, we kind of blow. Now touch her on the head before you move from that weight. Touch her on the head. Yeah. Release her? Yeah, you got to release her. Because if she's waiting... We want her taking that serious. Now look at how short your lead is. No, you're still holding her back. I said wait. It's got to be her decision. Wait. Beautiful. Your goal is verbal control, not to hold the dog back. That is nice. Now this time, don't step on the line. How do you do, sir? How's it going? Oh, Touch her on the head, tell her she's oh. wonderful. It's not the dog that changed. That's really good. Good bad. dog. That's so much better. It really is. Hi, nice job. Ah, too late on that wait. You were shaking hands before you said it. She waited right where you said it. Wait. See the habits that we get into? It's not the dog. The dog is fine. All right, now hang on to the very end of that line. Stick your thumb in your pants pocket, and all no, you got to take the line with it. The line with it. Other side. Put it on the other side. There you go. Just put it on the left. Hang on to the handle of the lead. With your left hand. Stick your thumb in your pants pocket. Now you don't have that line. This is off lead. Now you only have verbal control. Tell her, come on, just like you got it. Touch the dog on the head. Good job. Good wait. What an wait. excellent dog. What an excellent dog. Good girl. Good girl. Little more praise. She's doing a good job. Really working. Wait. Good job. Yes. Good job. Yeah, I need it. Good yeah. job. Well, that's always the way. The dog is the reflection of what we do. So if we Good keep way. doing, yeah. we have the same. Hello. Now drop your lead. Now you're off lead. Okay, go do it again. Talk to her. No. Touch her on the head. Tell her, come on. Come on. Let's go. Wait. Wait. When you say it like that, she sits. I'm going to make it sharp. She Good sits. job. Wait. Make sure that you're coming to your stop. Good Keep job. walking after you say wait. Wait. That's it. Leave What's it. wrong with that? Leave it. Leave it. Good. Sit. Sit. Nice. Did you hear that? Thank you. Yes. Good boy, Ray. <laughs> Somewhere in there, just walk over to your chair. Yeah, Tell her, come on. come on. Good dog. These words, these commands are tools. 
You use them in combinations. You keep them sharp. You don't let them be compromised. You don't use your screwdriver as a pry bar. Or you won't have a screwdriver. I can attest to that. (laughs) But unless we use the tools properly, we will not have them.